slopes, seven dimensions. Faster than five up, say, search warrant. More powerful than a prosecutor on speed. Two hits from the bomb and he's hiding in a DEA helicopter. Up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's the New Jersey weed man. Pumping every day, doing his thing. Ain't nobody cool to this man. And it's hard. It's People sit and say stoners, potheads, they're cow's potatoes, they're lazy. Jersey Weed Man or the NJ Weed Man. He's a former marijuana dispensary owner, a medical marijuana patient, and an outspoken advocate for jury nullification who's successfully fought back multiple marijuana charges. Um, outside in a van was my old friend, the Weed Man. <laughs> weed Man, the Weed Man, old Ed. He's been, he's been picketing me since 2002. I give you the New Jersey Weed Man. I got one thing to say. First, I want to get everybody involved in this one. Fuck the law! Fuck the law! I smoke weed. I smoke the ganja. I'm not wrong. The law is wrong. Comcast Newsmakers Campaign 2004. This hour's newsmaker is Edward Fortune, U.S. Marijuana Party candidate for United States Congress in New Jersey's 3rd Congressional District. Today, we're talking about Welcome his campaign. This guy really is for real, he too, is, isn't he? He is for real. I don't know if he remembers, but he did run for governor of New Jersey, the Garden State, last year. And, in fact, he walked away with 10,000 votes. You've got to be kidding me. I'm absolutely serious. 10,000 people voted for this 10, guy? 10,000 people voted for him. Uh, and he is... is uh, the, you fought. I was charged in New Jersey with... Uh, with possession of marijuana and possession with intent to distribute. But I have always felt that the marijuana laws were wrong. Opinion poll after opinion poll shows that more than 50% of Americans believe that marijuana should be legal. I am not Taking going those. to be the governor who's going to tell our children and our young adults that marijuana use is okay, because it's not. And it's now being medically proven by the Journal of, Neuro of Neurosciences that it's not even in casual, occasional use. So... I don't care about the tax money that may come from it, and I don't care, quite frankly, that people think it's inevitable. It's not inevitable here. I'm not going to permit it. When I decided cannabis was the avenue I wanted to go, I know I needed to start somewhere. Jumped on the Internet, typed in, I don't know, I don't, it wasn't New Jersey weed, man, but I think it was weed in New Jersey or something like that, and just started seeing this guy all over the place. I think it's cool what he's doing, like, to get weed legalized in New Jersey, what's wrong with that? At some point, it was Jeff Edelstein. Jeff Edelstein first started writing about me in the 90s, and he's always written about me. He has a big reason why I'm a columnist now here at the Trentonian. So, big up to Jeff Edelstein. What time is the deadline? Deadline is 7 o'clock. Ain't nobody cool to this man, and it's never gonna change. He's too clever for me. I've been, I've been coming in here and telling them I'm gonna bring him, a, bring him a, a menu, so here we go. She promised me she's gonna eat healthy now. Yes, I am. All right, there you Thank go. You. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks. So come down to the Wee Man's joint. I'll be there, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he battled his spoke of politicians getting at him with them government posters, judges with jokers, the Lord. And this guy here. He got a burger for him. Two turkey burgers, mac and cheese, on a glazed donut bun, served with fries and a Twinkie. What's this? Zucchini. It's not part of the Christie. That's around now. There's going to be a cameraman behind me. Oh, okay. So when is that going to go in effect? Uh, well, we've got a lot of editing and stuff to do, but the whole developmental thing is is, is a winner. They're, they're going oh, for it. So I see you're getting what you want. Uh, exactly. You know? I'm putting it in everybody's face and I'm yes, doing it. Yes, you are. Everything with the joint, the restaurant, the sanctuary, the rally show just came up out of the blue. It's I turned it to AM when I got in the car. Now I can't find how to turn it back to F. I keep messing with it. Doesn't matter. Start it. Fuck it up. 
because it's happening no matter what. But you can't help You're me anyway. Right. You, can't even, you can't even see. Oh, the sun's gotta be there. Hello, Rush. Um, Man. I just would like to say I'm. Wait a minute. Years old. Um, so how long has that been bothering you? Yeah, all right. The last couple of days, he's just been wearing glasses. You know, we've been doing renovation and stuff like that. So I thought it was just, you know, him protecting himself from the sawdust. Come to find out, I mean, he's been working with one eye for like the last two two days. Uh, well, you know what? You take your ass to the hospital right now, or what? Oh, but hey, how about let me show you something? I lied. What was that for? I lied. <laughs> Hold on, turn this. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't need need you to get anything for me. You need to do something for yourself. You need to go in there. And tell somebody something's wrong with your eyes. And what you can see the somebody. Hell? So you just got dropped <laughs> off. I got pumped. You got dropped off. Look at your eyes check, man. Uh. But hold it. I didn't even know where we were. I couldn't see. See? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you don't even know where you're at. But it's the emergency room at the hospital. Call me when you when you see somebody. Tell me you need a console, something, you're all fucked up. Alright, thank you. Shout out to J. Weed, man. Doing some legendary shit here in the city. I've been in this city 36 years, man. First time in my life, I felt alive to this city. You can smoke weed and be very active and be very productive. You know what I mean? Like, it's not hard. 6.35, and I've been, uh, I procrastinated all week. I knew good and well I should be doing this column. Guys, I got abrasions on my corneas, both of them. Uh, the doctor was like, if I were you, I'd go down to Philly right now, go to this eye emergency doctor and get my shit checked out.